guys, welcome to my video called Personal Financial Success. I want to thank you for taking time to look at the video. Now, I've probably talked to about maybe 7,000 people about what personal financial success is, and I have not found 50 people that even knew what in the world I was talking about. But it doesn't matter if you're a doctor, lawyer, school teacher, uh, janitor, whatever type of profession that you're in or whatever industry you're in, you're trying to do two things. Number one, you're trying to have income for today. And basically, since life is not free, we need money coming in about every week or so, maybe even every two weeks to pay down bills. And then one day we have to have what is called income producing assets. Now, income producing assets is anything that you own that produces income, irregardless to you working now. So it doesn't matter what you're doing. You're trying to do these two things in your life. OK, but here's the problem. Let's say, for example, let's put some numbers to this so you can understand what in the world it is I'm talking about. So we're going to take a household income of roughly $5,000 per month, which is about $60,000 per year. Now, many people would call that a great household income. So now the question becomes is how much do I need down here in assets to replace that income? Because remember, you never ever want to run out of money, do you? No. So you want to have money all the days of your life. So how do you do that? You have to have an income producing asset that's large enough that creates a rate of return that you can live off of. So roughly you would need between 10 times and 20 times what you make in a year. So let's put those numbers here. So you would need at least $600,000 here at a 10% rate of return, which would be roughly about $60,000. Because remember, you have income replacement because you're going to have to get to this. Because remember, one of three things is going to happen to you. Either you're going to get too old to work, the job is going to fire you, or you're going to decide you don't want to work. One of those three, three things will happen in your life and you have to have income coming from somewhere. So many people don't have what I call financial literacy. We live in a society that's based on capitalism, business, money, and finance. But here's the problem. You can go from kindergarten all the way to the 12th grade, and it's never mandated that you learn anything about business, money, capitalism, or finance. But you're taught about history. You're taught about how to dissect the frog and all these different things and what a rhombus is. Now, I'm not here to debate whether those things are good or bad, but when is the last time you used a rhombus? See, if you're not in a profession that really has to use those different uh, terms, you might not have even seen those things or used those terms since you were in school. The problem with that is everything we do is based on business, money, capitalism, and finance, and you don't know anything about those things. So it should be mandated that we what? Learn those things in school. Now, since we don't have financial literacy, we don't get a 10% uh, rate of return. We get on average about a 5% because we don't know how to do that. Now we have an asset that needs to be much bigger called 1.2 million. And that would yield us the same $60,000 a year. See, you can see the writing on the wall that most people had little to no clue that they needed between 600,000 and a million plus dollars to fix their lives in this scenario. We see people trying to retire and live on 40% of what they were making while they were working. Well, think about it. You're struggling on 100% of what you were making while you were working during your working years. Imagine trying to live on 40% of that. It's not going to work. You're either going to have to cut lifestyle, which that's not a good feeling, or you're going to have to work until you die. That is what's happening in this country. So now let's continue further with personal financial success. So this is what I would call personal financial success. You have enough money here to maintain a lifestyle for today while you're working. But sometime you're supposed to take some of this money and build what is called income producing assets. It doesn't matter what the asset is, stocks, bonds, real estate, mutual funds, or private businesses. But the problem is most people can't save enough to get to this. Why? Because the first thing that happens to them is they have this thing here called taxes. Have you ever heard of him? Well, taxes is about 30% of the average person's income. So before you ever spend a dime to take care of your family, the government or the job goes into the check, takes out taxes, and you get what's, what's left called the net. So roughly $1,500 here has gone to taxes. 
Now, this is your biggest expense on a monthly basis. It's not your mortgage. It's not your car note. It's your tax bill. So now look what happened. We have $3,500 here left to spend. Now, I always tell people that you are entrapped in a game called capitalism. What do I mean? You're playing the game of capitalism and you don't know the rules. That's just like me being a person that plays basketball once a year. And I go and I go out on the basketball court and I'm trying to play against LeBron James or Kobe Bryant. They play basketball for a living. See, the people that have put together the system called capitalism in this country, they actually know all the rules. And it's impossible for you to go up against them and win if you don't know the rules. So now here's what happens. You go out and you got you a decent little job and nice uh, lifestyle and you say, okay, I need me a home. So when you go get a mortgage, the mortgage payment is based on your gross income, not your net. If you go get a car note, it works the same way. It's based on your gross income, not your net. Well, you got a problem here. You only have $3,500 to spend, but your bills are based on you having this income here. Well, that's a problem. Your bills are based on income you don't have. So now you have been set up to go into debt. Now you start creating more and more debt here and you start to lose another 30, if not 40% of your income to just interest on debts. Because remember, most of the house payment is what? Interest. So if you have a $1,000 mortgage payment, 700 of it is interest for the first 22 years. Well, now you're, you're just basically having the right to owe somebody money. So now you got 30% going to taxes and 30% going to debt or interest on debts. That's 60% of your income going to absolutely nothing. Now, I want you to just stop right there and think about that. Most of your income is going to something that does not really benefit your life. So now you're supposed to take the difference, which is 40%, live on it. And since 91% of the people in this country don't have a, a good, what I call a good retirement plan called a pension, that means the company just puts money aside for you and you don't have to do anything. You have to do your retirement uh, asset building all on your own. Well, now you have a problem. Tell me in what world are you going to be able to make your income, pay taxes first, start paying down your debts and pay for lifestyle and have enough money to save to get down here to 600,000 to a million dollars to reach personal financial success and never go back to work. Well, if you're like me, you understand that it's impossible. This is why you see many people failing at personal financial success. They didn't know, number one, they needed this down here. And then because these two areas here have most of their income, they can't get it done. So what I want you to do is click the link below if you want to learn the MyEcon system called Income Shifting to help you solve this problem. My name is John Pettifordell, Platinum Executive Vice President with MyEcon and co-founder of The Power Team. I thank you for looking at my video and I look forward to seeing you soon. Today is a great day to build a business. Have a good one.